Welcome back here at home. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is facing criticism for his recent handling of the pandemic, even having articles of impeachment filed against him just this past week. What kind of political repercussions is he facing as we head into the winter months? Let's bring back our political panel here this morning. We were just talking about the pandemic, guys. I want to know what your thoughts are in terms of the handling of the pandemic here in the state of Ohio. Do you agree with the way that DeWine has handled this so far in terms of the restrictions, especially during this latest surge. Uh, Ron, I want to start with you. I get I think the governor's done an outstanding job and I think we've done terrific work here in the state of Ohio as far as citizens and listening to this. Uh, unfortunately, we're seeing an uptick across the nation as they predicted would happen when we got into December, January and February. Uh, and that's unfortunate and people are dying as a result of it. But in general, I think the governor, our governor in Ohio is doing everything he can do. I give him an A. Okay. I, I will. I will agree that the governor has done a good job. I think the Republicans in the Senate, who are threatening to impeach him and strip him from the power to do what's necessary, he's been a little bit tepid. To be honest, he could have been a little more forceful in the restrictions that. But he's, you know, busy placating. Um, you know, the fact that we want to keep everything open, but if people will not listen, wear a mask. I'm talking about in the state legislature, will not even wear a mask. So if leaders like our leaders don't show an example what, what's going to flatten the curve. What we'll instead do, what we've been doing, is not flatten the curve, but add to it and multiply it. And we're like three times what we should have been. And now we're paying the cost, not only in Ohio, but across the nation. Justin, are you Do surprised hands, by what he's well, not done compared to the last time? Because you're the one handling the numbers coming into the newsroom. We're reporting on it across the region. I wanted to know what you thought about him not imposing another shutdown or him not imposing more restrictions on places like restaurants where you take your mask off to eat. Because I, I know that a lot of people are for it and there are a lot of people against it. So what do you think in terms of his handling this time around? I think that the political reality is very tough for Mike DeWine. The first time around, there was a big federal stimulus package right around right around the corner where you could impose a massive shutdown and know that there was help on the way. The state of Ohio can't print money and with that with any kind of federal action either being scaled back or in question entirely, he can't just do that again. The devastation you know, the, millions of people on unemployment was bad. Millions of people with no lifeline is not survivable. So that's the trouble right now is I think Mike DeWine knows that more needs to be done. He said as much yesterday, but he's kind of doing as much as the political reality will allow for. If the feds were to say tomorrow, we've got a $3 trillion package that's going to take care of, a, you know, carrying people through a four week shutdown, I think DeWine might do it in a heartbeat. He's also in a really tough position moving forward politically because he's going to go into 2022 a little bit weaker than he is now because of these challenges from the right in his own party. And if the Ohio Democratic Party is able to field a strong candidate, he could be in some serious trouble you know, down, down the next year or two uh, politically. Hey, the good news is a vaccine is right around the corner. This is the great news about our country and that public uh, private partnership. Hopefully this problem is looking at its waning days in the next uh, this coming year. And it looks like a lot of us will be having the option to get vaccinated by what June. I mean, that's terrific news and outstanding what this country has done in trying to solve this problem. And 61 percent of Americans seem like they're interested uh, and taking the vaccine. So it's increased over the last month, the yeah, fact that it's almost available. Yeah. I know they say the elderly should take it, Mike, so I hope you're interested in taking it. I want to keep you around. <laughs> They, they may they may give it to black people first, but we remember Tuskegee, so I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, hopefully there is light at the end of the tunnel. I'm glad to see all three of you smiling at once. Take a picture of that. Get a freeze frame on it because it doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> but yeah, we are hopeful. We will get through this. We are all in this together. Even if I can't be with you in person, we're doing this digitally. We're doing the best we can, and hopefully everything does work out. I know DeWine said when he was inaugurated, he was going to make decisions that might not be popular even within his own party as long as he did what he felt was right. So this is how he's handled the pandemic. I'm sure we'll look back and, you know, weigh in on it as the years go by. Hopefully we have this behind us soon. So thanks for joining me this morning, guys.